Today, we're talking about abdominal anatomy. We'll cover the four abdominal quadrants, nine regions, and organs within each. And by the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp on this essential knowledge. For a condensed overview of this topic, make sure you check out our blog linked in the description below. So let's get started. First, let's talk about why this information is so important. Understanding abdominal anatomy isn't just about memorization. It's a roadmap to patient care. It helps you to assess and recognize and perform nursing interventions for various abdominal conditions or injuries. In short, it's a key skill for any nurse. Now, let's break down the four abdominal quadrants. So I want you to imagine two lines crossing the belly button, dividing the abdomen into four parts. In the right upper quadrant, the RUQ, this is the home of the liver, gallbladder, right kidney, and part of the stomach. Now on the other side, in the left upper quadrant, this contains the spleen, left kidney, and parts of the stomach, and even pancreas. Now moving down to the right lower quadrant here, this houses the appendix and the right reproductive organs. Now finally, moving over to the left lower quadrant, this contains the left reproductive organs. So remember, all quadrants contain parts of the large and small intestines. Now here's a quick tip. The quadrants are relative to the patient's body and not yours. So the right and left refers to the patient's right and left. For a more detailed view, we divide the abdomen into six regions, and then further down into nine more specific groups. These regions include the hypochondriac, located on the left and right, found on the upper sides of the abdomen, under the ribs. Next is the lumbar left and right, situated on each side of the umbilical, or navel region, near the waistline. Next is the iliac left and right, found on the lower sides of the abdomen, near the hip bones. Now moving on to the epigastric, positioned in the middle above the stomach and between two hypochondriac regions. Now moving over to the umbilical, located in the center around the belly button. And very lastly is the hypogastric, situated below the umbilical region toward the pubic bone. Now it's important to know that the right hypochondriac contains the liver, gallbladder, right kidney, and small large intestines. The epigastric houses the duodenum, or the duodenum, the liver, pancreas, and the stomach. And the left hypochondriac includes the left kidney, large and small intestines, spleen, pancreas, stomach, and even the tip of the liver. Now moving over to the right lumbar. This consists of the ascending colon, right kidney, and small intestine. The umbilical contains the duodenum, or duodenum, small intestine, and transverse colon. And the left lumbar includes parts of the descending colon, left kidney, and small intestine. Now the right iliac houses parts of the appendix, ascending colon, cecum, and small intestine. And the hypogastric contains the bladder, sigmoid colon, reproductive organs, and small intestine. And very lastly is the left iliac region. This includes the descending colon, sigmoid colon, and small intestine. So here's a handy mnemonic to remember these regions. Hector loves Isabel every unceasing hour. So H is for hypochondriac, L is for lumbar, I is for iliac, E is for epigastric, U is for umbilical, and H is for hypogastric. Understanding these regions helps in patient assessment. For instance, if a patient's complaining of pain in the right upper quadrant, you might suspect liver or gallbladder issues. And if there's pain in the right lower quadrant, this could indicate appendicitis. This knowledge also guides your physical examination. You'll know exactly where to palpate or auscultate for specific organs or conditions. So there you have it, abdominal anatomy demystified. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try to draw these quadrants and regions or even quiz yourself on organ locations. This knowledge will serve you well throughout your nursing career. Thanks so much for watching, future nurses. Click this link right here for more free resources to help you with your nursing school journey. I'll see you there.